Abacus problem of the week. Okay, for those of you who might not know, the abacus we're working with is called a Cranmer abacus. And the foundation or method that I'm using is the counting method. I will post some links in the information section below with uh, more information about um, this abacus, this method, and in those links you can learn how to add, learn how to subtract, and learn all the parts of the abacus. Okay, let's get on with the show. Welcome back. This next problem comes from Lily. Lily loves Reese's Pieces. She estimates that there are 35 Reese's Pieces in a bag. And the owner of the grocery store tells Lily that there are 37 bags per box. And he also tells her that they're getting a shipment in, and their shipment will be 22 boxes. And so the question is, how many Reese's Pieces are coming in this shipment? So we can talk about setting this up. We know that there are 35 Reese's in a bag and 37 bags in a box. So we can multiply 35 times 37 to get how many Reese's Pieces are in a box. And then we take that number and multiply that product times 22 boxes. So it will be 35 times 37 times 22. We can also do this the other way around. That's the commutative property of multiplication. So we could determine the total number of bags in 22 boxes and say 37 times 22 and then multiply that number times 35. But let's do it this way. I will show this in print first. My first problem then is 35 times 37. This is our Multiplicand is 35, the multiplier is 37. So we'll multiply 35 by 7 first. So 5 times 7 is 35. And then 30 times 7 is 210, plus the 30 in 35. So that's 24, 240. And now I'll multiply them 35 by 30. So I'm finished with this 7. 30 times 5 is 150. And 30 times 30, 3 times 3 is 9 with two zeros, is 900. And I add the 900 and the 150 to get 1050. 1050 plus 245. 1,295, 1,295, and this is candies per box. But we got 22 boxes, so we need to take that 1,295, and that's our new multiple canned. So we'll say 1,295, that's our new multiple canned, and we're going to multiply that times what? The grocery store got 22 boxes. So 1295 is our new multiple canned, 22 is our new multiplier. So we'll start with the 2 in 22 and multiply that by 1295. Um, 2 times 5 is 10, 2 times 90 is 180, 180 plus the 10 is 190, 
2 times 200 is 400, plus the 100 and 190, that's 5. 590 so far. And then 1,000 times 2 is 2,000. Now we're finished with the 2, so we need to work with the 20. So 20 times 5 is 100. Um, 20 times 90, 2 times 9 equals 18 with two zeros, so that's 1,800. So 800 plus the 100 that we already had is 900, 1 in the thousands. And we have 20 times 200, so 2 times 2 is 4 with three zeros, so 4,000. I'll add that 4 to the 1 that's already in the thousands, and I have 5,000. 900 so far. And then 20 times 1,000 is 20,000. And I add these up. 0, 9, 9 and 5, 14, 8, and 2. So my total then is 28,490, and this is candies per shipment. That is a lot of candies. All right, let's look at this on the abacus. The abacus procedure is very similar to the standard algorithm in print. We set our multiple cans in the billions section. So we'll start with this 35 times 37, and I'm going to set 35, the multiple cans, in the billions section. I set my multiplier in the millions section, 37 in the millions section. This is my multiplier, so I'll start with the 7. I have my right index finger on the 7, and I'm going to put my left index finger on the 5 in 35. 5 times 7 is 35. I move my right hand, my right index finger over, and I set the 35 and then come back to the 7 in my multiplier. So I've done 5 times 7, it's 35, and now I move over to the left, and I'm going to do 30 times 7. 30 times 7, 3 times 7 is 21, there's a 0 and 30, so 210. So I'll bring my right index finger over, and I set 200 in the 2 in the hundreds column, and 1 in the tens column. I add 1 to the 3 that was already in the tens column. I like to keep my fingers on the separation bar so I can feel the dots for each of the columns and I can feel the period markers that separate the periods. Uh, it's really helpful to maintain my orientation. Uh, come back over to the 7 in 37, and I'm finished with that 7. So I can clear the 7, move over to the 3 in the tens column, or 30, come back to the 5 in my multiple cans. 5 times 30 is 150. So I'll come over with my right hand and set a 1 in the hundreds column. So I can count or add the 5 bead in the tens column. I'm just going to add the 5 bead down. I could count it, but I see it there. I'm just going to add it. I've added 150. Bring my right hand back over to the 3 in my multiplier. I'm finished with that 5, so I can clear the 5 and move to the 3 in the multiple cans, 30. 30 times 30 is 900. 3 times 3 is 9 with two zeros. 900. So I'm going to come over to my product and add 9 to the 3 in the hundreds column. So 1, 2, make the 4, 5 exchange. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, make the 9, 10 exchange. 8, 9. So I have 1,295 as my product. 1,295 candies per box. Now I need to find out how many candies per shipment. 
So I've cleared everything on the left side and I'm going to move this 1,295 over and it's my new multiple cans. So I come over here to the left and I set a five in the ones column, a nine in the tens column, a two in the hundreds column, and a one in the thousands column. Now I can clear the product from my previous problem and I need to set my new multiplier which is 22. 22 in the millions section. So I'm going to start with the 2 in my multiplier in 22 and my 5 in the multiple cans. So 2 times 5 is 10. I can set the 10. Move over to the left in the multiple cans. 90 times 2 is 9 times 2 is 18 with a 0 on the end, so that's 180. Set a 1 in the hundreds column. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 in the tens column. So I've added 180. Um, so I'm using this 2 in the multiplier, and I'm moving over to the 2 in the hundreds column of my multiple cans. 200 times 2, that's 400, so I can set, add 400 to my product. 1, 2, 3, and 4, 5 exchange for 4. And then um, move to the left in my multiple cans, and there's a 1 in the thousands place. 1,000 times 2 is 2,000. I'll come over here to my product and set 2 in the thousands place, 2,000. So I have a partial product of 2,590. And I'm finished with this 2 in 22, so I can clear it. I'm left with 20. I'll move back over to the 5 in my multiple cans. And I say 5 times 20. Um, 2 times 5 is 10 with a 0 on the end, so that's 100. I'm going to come over here to my product and add a 1 to the hundreds column. Move back to the 20 in my multiplier and move over to the left in my multiple cans. So I have a 9 or 90 in the tens column. And another thing I can do is I can clear this 5. I'm finished with that 5 in the multiple cans. So I'm left with 90. 90 times 20. 2 times 9 is 18 with two zeros, so that's 1,800. I can come over to my product and I can set an 8, I can add 8 to the hundreds column, 1, 2, 3, 9, 10 exchange, makes 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 to my hundreds column, and um, a 1 to the thousands column. So I've added 1,800 to my product. Move back over to the 20 in the multiplier. I'm finished with the 9 in my multiple cans, and I'm moving on to the 2 in uh, the hundreds column. 200 times 20, 2 times 2 is 4 with 3 zeros, that's 4,000. So I'm adding 4 to the thousands column. So I'm going to make a 4-5 exchange here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 4,000. I am finished with the 2 in the multiple cant, so I can clear that. I'm left with 1,000 times 20. Well, that's 20,000. So I can come back over to my product, locate my 10 thousands place, and add 2 for 20,000. I'm finished with my multiplier. I'm finished with my multiple cans, so I clear them, and I'm left with 20,000, 28,000, 490. 28,490 candies per shipment. I guess we better get eating. Well, thank you very much for watching, and have a great day.